Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Cam back with another video. And in today's video, we'll be doing an unboxing of Transformer Siege War for Cybertron Springer. So we'll get right into it. And sorry if you hear some loud crackling sounds in the background. It's fireworks. People just setting up fireworks. I don't know why. But French has the nice open window showcasing the figure in all of his glory. And my box is dented like a lot. But it uh, says Autobot Springer, Siege, War for Cybertron, Transformers side here. Got a nice picture of uh, Springer looking like he's going to kill you. And that looks like a a brawl face. Or not a brawl. Uh, oh, what's his name? A hound face. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Uh, Voyager class, Classy Voyager, Classy Via Hero, and Class A Voyager side. Same image as all the others. Back of the box. Uh, robot mode, uh, and then it's two vehicle modes, is car mode and, uh, uh, airplane. Yeah, airplane mode. So, I think they're both G, they're both G1, so, we'll just get right into the unboxing, so just, oh, hang on. Still got some, forgot to cut this plastic tape. There we go. Okay. Yeah, just take this out. There's uh, Springer. The instructions. Here are the instructions. So there's that. Now we'll just. Cut him out. And there you can see the uh, thing for the helicopter blades, which is his swords. But is there another one on him oh, up here. going on oh. yeah. okay there we go Sheesh. so here's Springer uh, excuse me the packaging geez he's a fighter now we'll just get out his weapons. That. There's one sword, which is also the hel one of the helicopter blades. Here's the other one. And then lastly is a uh, Which, oh wow, splits into two. And evidently makes a giant gum. So there's that. Get all of these plastic pieces picked up. And yes, this is satisfying. Got so many. Alrighty, there we go. So satisfying. So here is Springer with his two swords, which do hook onto here to make the copter blade. Oh crap! Anyway. Make the copter blades, and you can put this on his back and see it's gonna make the helicopter blades. You can leave it on his back. He can still stand. It's just weird. Don't know why you would, but. We'll just give him his oh, great. his two swords. There we go. And this guy is a pre-order. We just found him in stock, so that's good. And I do have Brunt on the way. He'll be coming soon, and I'll be getting a video out for your pleasure. So there's him. Uh, we'll just put this helicopter thing on his back. Actually, let's leave that off because 
And then his gun, we can just put on his back. And that looks weird. So we'll just plug him onto his shoulders. Or not his shoulders, his, uh... Oh, actually, you can put him on his shoulders. We'll just do that instead. Make it look better. Oh, wrong thing. Where's his other gun? Oh, it's on his arm. I'm like, where did his go? Where did his gun go? There we go. And then... Yeah, because you don't use that for his vehicle mode. Or his car mode. Because they're both vehicles, but his car mode. So there he is. And wow, he is not want to stand. There we go. So there is Springer in out of, uh, uh, out of the packaging. So... I think he's really, really, really great figure. I mean, he's pretty cool. I've been waiting to get this figure for so long. Like, when I saw Springer was coming out, it, like, made my day because he's one of my favorite generations. God. So, yeah, he's pretty cool. I will be getting Brunt after Brunt probably get be getting two more. Refra I'll be getting two more refractors to make the camera. So I still have to get a uh, review out for him and Red Alert, which I will be doing both of them tomorrow, so be expecting that. Um, yeah, so yeah. And then I'll be buying any new guys that come out. But So here is Springer. So yes, he is a freaking beast. He's a goat. He is awesome. Like, I love this figure. Like, I, I just can't help it. He, he's he's my my angel to me like honestly when I was he's always been my favorite from the generation series I just really like his blades they're just freaking awesome and that he's a helicopter and a uh, car this is one of the first ones I ever first generation characters I ever got and um uh, yeah for the generation series. Which I have them on my shelf, but in vehicle mode, so I will be doing a comparison of him in vehicle mode with this guy in vehicle mode. But, um, he just, he was just like one of my first generations, first triple changer I ever got, and he's just been stuck to me ever since, so I was so excited to get this guy, because he's been with me ever since, so I think he's a great figure, um... Yeah, he does have a pretty big backpack, and adding this makes it bigger, but, I mean, it's not like you can even notice it. It's hard for him to stand, though. You have to kind of lead his, like, feet forwards and kind of spread them out, and there he stands. But if you just leave him like this, he stands angled like that. Like, and, of course, he falls and messes up my backdrop. That's just great. I love you so much. You had to do that. But, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I really like this guy. Um, the weapons you can put, like, here, here. You can put one of them on the back here if you take this off. Or you can put them right there. But I like to leave them on his shoulder. I think they look good on his shoulder. You can put them right there. He could, like, have them there like he's holstering them when he's not using them when he's using his blades so you can put them down there like he's holstering so that's pretty cool that's one of the things I really like about this figure I've always liked all these weapons he came with the original figure only came with one giant weapon and then the so just one sword which split into two swords not like but it folded out, so then it would look like there was two, just to make the helicopter blade. That's what I didn't like about it, because he, this figure is amazing. I just love the double swords. That it comes with double swords, it's so much nicer than having just one sword. In fact, I will grab that right now and compare it real quick. It's on his gun, but this is his original sword um, from the Generation series. And like I said, it opens up 
like this to make the helicopter blade. And you could even use this on this figure if you want, if you don't want to use his two swords. And you have this, and you don't want to use that thing on his back, you can just use this because it's compatible. It works. So, yeah. Pretty cool. I really like this. Uh, I really didn't, I didn't like this sword very much. I mean, it was cool, but this gun I liked better than having just two, I like this better than having two guns because it's just one gun. So you don't have to worry about it all that much, but we'll get into comparisons. Here he is with Red Alert. And Red Alert is leaning down because he can't stand, so you can tell he's leaning. So there he is. Put him back. There he is with, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Refractor, or Reflect. Refract, refractor, but because he's actually a reflector, but of course they don't have the rights to keep that his name. So yeah, that's about it for the video. So I really enjoyed this figure. I suggest you pick this figure up out of all the new ones that are coming out. I'd suggest this guy. Um, I think he's just an amazing figure. Over the three I have, the three newest ones: Red Alert. Refractor and Springer. Springer's the one to get. Like, if you're going to do two Springer and probably Refractor, well, that'd be, you'd have to buy three of them to make the camera. But this guy just overall is amazing. So, yeah, that's about it for the video. So, like always, go down, hit that subscribe button, destroy the like button, or, yeah, destroy the like button. Let me know down in the comments below, um, which is your favorite uh, Springer G1 Generations or this one. I'd probably say this one. Because he's basically the G1 figure in vehicle and, uh, in both vehicle modes. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.